blowing stuff up and hitting the authority where it hurts. That's my game. Now, if you're as good as Elizabeth says you are, then I do believe you and I will get along nicely. With Rage, we've blown up the experience. We have a much larger world. We have very unique environments. We have various gameplay experiences. Rage is more than just a first-person game. It's a complete experience. We're known for making this straightforward action shooter, and we kept that. But then we added on top of it this deep and meaningful story. So the story of Rage, we had the setting, we knew we wanted to have it on Earth, then we had to decide how we would destroy the planet. And we actually found that there's a real asteroid, which is called Apophis, which will pass by the planet around 2036. So in the fictional world of Rage, when the governments of the world discovered that Apophis would hit us and destroy most of civilization, they initiated a program called the Eden Project. So the game starts out where you are an ARC survivor. You are one of those people buried in 2036. Your ARC emerges from the ground 100 years later. Unfortunately, you're the only one that survives in your ARC. So when you step out, you are alone. And it's this post-apocalyptic world that you rise up in, and it's this twisted version of the reality you used to know, and you really don't know what to expect. Current position unknown. There's mutants, and there's bandits, you know, and there's groups of settlers trying to survive. You people are only trouble. Now be on your way. The world has moved on, and it has its own thing going. We don't give the character a name or a face that's unique to the story. We want the player to jump in and actually add his own identity into that character. So when you step out of your arc in Rage, you have no idea what your role in the bigger conflict will be. At first, all you are worried about is surviving. And you team up with some settlers, and you're doing some odd job. So here's what I need you to do. So you're not just going from one area to an airlock to the next area. It is an open world. It's believable in a sense. And it's the story and the characters and the setting that really delivers the gameplay. You're driving across these landscapes, and you're going visit people here, and they're giving you jobs to do. And as you head out of your safe zone, you enter like a combat area. So you may find a handful of bandits with rocket launchers mounted on their cars. And as a player, if you wish to engage them, you can. If you wish to try to run and gun and get out of there, you can. Then the story starts unfolding, and you realize that these, these warring bandit clans, they all occupy a certain area of the wasteland. They own it. They'll attack you if you go in there and you don't look right. Then the same thing with the towns. If they don't know you, they're going to treat you like an outcast. Well, will you look here. A new face, a new body. Oh, I am so glad I got out of bed this morning. <laughs> you start learning about these crazy mutants who they don't even like each other, much less you, much less the bandits. And then you learn about this other faction, the Authority, and they start playing a bigger and bigger role in the story. They are trying to control the wasteland and set the direction of mankind. That's the truth, and that's what people need to know. So there's a small group of people called the Resistance that are fighting against the Authority. The Resistance discovers you, and everyone knows that ARC survivors have a certain specialness to them. You got all those little computers racing around inside you. You know, as you move through the story, you become more important, and people start to take notice of you. So does the authority. As you, the player, get your weapons and start interacting with the characters and start fighting all the bad guys in the world, you understand what your role is in the world. So, you're the new team member. The story in a game really gives meaning to the action. It creates the setting that all the gameplay exists on. And if you have a compelling story, and you have compelling action, and ways to drive the player forward, it just creates a richer experience and a more complete package. But it's always about again, something new around every corner, and you really have to stay on your toes in the wasteland. Ah!